Matthew and Anna Catherine. Our church shares your joy this evening, warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends. As this evening in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. In the gospel reading, it talks about building their relationship upon rock. Anna Catherine said that this reading embodies their relationship and the journey that they have been on for the last seven years. And Anna Catherine and Matthew, you know this already, but you're very blessed. And that came across very strong last night in the speeches at the rehearsal supper. You're blessed with the gift of one another. You're blessed with a God who loves you. You're blessed with parents who love you, care for you. You're blessed with good friends who rejoice with you tonight, who support you. And your parents have witnessed to you what a committed marriage is all about. Anna Catherine, throughout this wedding process, people have asked me over and over if I will have cold feet. And I think it's normal for people to feel this emotion on a big decision day. <laughs> However, this is one emotion that I will never get a chance to experience. As I'm writing this letter, rather than feeling scared or anxious of what the future will hold, I sit here completely content with how my life has unfolded. Normally in life, when there is tragedy, God sends an angel to watch and protect a person. But in my case, God gave me my angel to marry and hold for the rest of my life. Consider this an early I do, a promise to marry you, to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. It's a promise to love you, hold you, and honor you for all the days of my life. Sincerely, your husband-to-be, Matt. Anna Catherine said that Matthew has a genuine joy about him that initially attracted her to him. He does not let anything get him down. He's true to himself, confident, and he's always treated her with respect. And she could tell right away that Matthew has a real care and love for her. Matthew said that Anna Catherine is the smartest, kindest, most thoughtful person he has ever met. She is beautiful in every way. Matthew is so happy in the way that Anna Catherine fit in with his family. Right away, it felt so natural. Matthew always considered their relationship to be serious right away, pretty early. Early on, seeing how Anna Catherine fit in with his family and he with her family, they relied on each other to make it through to tragedies and challenges in their lives which made them grow stronger as a couple. And Matthew said he really began to realize what Anna Catherine meant to him when they were apart. He felt that part of him went with her. And he felt that missing part of him when she left, that made him realize even more so that the only way to feel whole as a person was to spend the rest of his life with her. Again, Anna Catherine said very much the same thing. She knew early on that their relationship was special. They were best friends from day one. They have navigated many trials, challenges, and losses over their seven years of dating. 
but that has made their relationship even stronger. I'm Matthew taking you in a cap to be my wife. I, Anna Catherine, take you, Matthew, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. In all the days of my life. All the days of my life. These experiences have taught them a lot about each other and has allowed them to take advantage of the opportunity to make your strong foundation for your marriage. They know how each other grieves, how they act under stress. They know how to forgive one another. They know how to show their love. Anna Catherine knows there will be other challenges and tough times in their lives. But she really realizes and believes that God has given them these seven years to build that solid foundation that is as strong as rock. my privilege this evening to introduce to all of you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Paul Hemel.